Welcome to Hope of Glory Ministries. I'm Reverend Sandra Campbell. The Lord gave me this word a week ago. Here it is. He says, take your hands off. The battle is not yours. It's the Lord's. So take your hands off, whatever it is, until you get out of the position to fight. You have not fully submitted it and given it to God. It's not your fight anymore. Have you ever been under attack by the enemy and you just couldn't shake it off and you did your best to fight it off and every time you tried to move on, you know, it rose up and you found yourself being under attack again by the same enemy? Such was the case with the Israelites. The Amalekites kept attacking them. Um, you can trace the Amalekites all the way back to Genesis. Um, they are descendants of Esau. And of course, we know that the Israelites are descendants of Jacob. And so there's this natural animosity going on and, and a tension between these two tribes. Well, Every time the Israelites would try and move on, the Amalekites would catch up with them and attack them again. You know, the Israelites just couldn't seem to shake them. The Amalekites were just so into attacking the Israelites that they would even team up with other tribes, other Canaanite people to rise up against Israel and bring them down. They wanted it that badly. Uh, they would do things like destroy their tents, destroy their structures, um, try to ruin and deplete their food supply. So, I mean, they thought of all they could do to attack the Israelites. Well, one day, the Amalekites found them at Rephidim, and again, they attacked the Israelites. But... The Israelites always had Moses there to turn to. You know, Moses had that rod and God would move through the rod, you know, and they would, of course, be victorious. But this time, the Lord said to Moses to take your hands off. Keep your hands raised with that rod. Keep them raised. Keep them up. And as long as your hands are up, God said, I'll fight your battle. Just tell Joshua and the people to go out, but they'll prevail. Moses, as long as your hands are up so that they don't see uh, you having any part in it. Because Moses, this battle is not yours. It's mine. Well, we find that Moses kept his hands in the air. And just as God said, the Israelites prevail as long as Moses was not in the position to use that rod. Um, but Moses' arms grew tired, and so he rested them upon a stone, and he kept them raised. How many of you know that that stone was Jesus? You know, we can find Jesus all throughout both uh, the Testaments. Jesus is always in um, with God working it out for our good. Amen. And so, friend, whatever it is that you're dealing with, whatever your battle is, take your hands off. The battle is not yours. It's the Lord's. God bless.